25, 26. Silver has been running around 28 to 30. Showing to be about six inches deep. All right, let's go. All right, there we go. There it is. Oh, check this out. Well, I'm back out here in my church's prayer garden. I had such a great success last week in the last video you saw, Church House Treasures. I'm gonna call this one Church House Treasures 2, T-O-O. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get some uh, more treasures. But uh, we got seven silvers out of here, five out of, uh, four out of this prayer garden and three out of the back lot. But I never did finish the back lot. Uh, the rain was coming in. I wanted to hurry up and get my wrap up shot. Uh, and so I wanna go back out on the lot today I've been doing a little bit already, and it's hot, very hot. I guess I would say it like this. I'm sweating worse than a prostitute sitting in church, and the preacher's preaching on fornication. It's hot out here, about 95% humidity. We've got a lot of rain. I've just been real busy lately. I haven't had a chance to get out and do any type of hunting. And plus, it's just been raining. It rained yesterday. Got a chance to rain this evening. Rain all day tomorrow, all day Saturday. And uh, so I just haven't had a chance to get out and do a lot of detecting between being busy and, and just a lot of rain. But yeah, it's very hot today. So we're going to go back out on the back lot. Uh, I'll cut in right here and I'll give you an aerial view of the back lot um, as, we, as I'm talking. And you can see it's a pretty good sized lot. And it's just wide open. Uh, but it's got a lot of trash in it. And, uh, but as hot as it is, I may give it about an hour, hour and a half and see what we come up with. Today I'm going to be uh, detecting with uh, my Equinox 800. I've just really enjoyed this machine lately. Uh, I hunt also with the CTX 3030 and the AT Pro and the AT Max. But uh, right now this is my go-to detector. I really enjoy it. And uh, so enough talking. Let's get out there and let's get some digging. Let's see if we can find some treasures. I got a good signal here. 28, 32, 29. Maybe about three inches deep. Let's go see what it is. I think I'll just get this one live here. Didn't sound too deep. Well, here we go. Right there in the sidewall. It's going to be another rosy. All right, 1957. Well, here's the back lot I was telling you about. And... This is going to be number eight, number one back here, but eight total. I got a quarter right over there, a dime over there in that corner, a dime over by that tree. And so right out here in the middle is a, uh, where a place where we had dug a hole and did a burn pit. So I'm not going to dig any of that. So I've got right over to that corner around those trees down by that basketball goal and up through here right here. I'm going to hunt and I'm going to do about an hour because I'm already sweating. It's hot and I'm already getting tired and weak. So, uh, there we go, first one, 1957. Let's keep going. Got another 26, 27, 28, 30. It's running about six inches deep. I bet it's about four inches deep. This is running a little bit more shallow than what it says. Anyway, I dug right up there on by that hedgerow, my first silver. I worked myself down here, dug up a couple of trash targets, and now we're right here. So let's go live dig this one and uh, see what we come up with. Sorry about the camera, I'm holding it in one hand. I'm not used to doing it that way. All right, come on, silver. Sounded like silver. Come on. There it is right there. Right in the dirt. See, it was maybe uh, maybe two inches deep there at the most. It's not that deep, these uh, uh, rosies. I like it when they leave an imprint in the dirt like that, though. 1957, another 57. All right. Well, that's two. Let's keep going before rain gets in this evening or I pass out and sweat. Let's keep going. All right, got another good tone. A little bit lower than the other ones, but a little high chirp in there. 25, 26. 
Silver has been running around 28 to 30. Showing to be about six inches deep. All right, let's go see what we got here. I left my pro pointer, so I'm going to have to do it old school. All right, there we go. There it is. Oh, check this out. It's going to be a Merc dime. All right. Well, I tell you what, I hate missing my pro porter. 1940, 1943. I'll take that one. That's my first Merc out of here. I'm over here by these trees now. I was over there, then right over here, and I've come across and gonna be right here in the, around these trees. I'm gonna work these trees. All right, let's keep going. All right. This has got a very, let's see if you can hear the sound. That's uh, I'm gonna dig this just because it's got a weird sound to it. All right, let me get that in there, get you set up on the. And we got a lot of rain. This ground is soft back here. That's a weird sound on this one. What we got? Come on, silver. Oh, come on, I wish I had my pro pointer. I don't want to walk back up to the truck to get to get it. Well, let me uh, get the camera off and put you over here on the... Let's go over here. I want it to be right over in the side wall, right over here. Let's keep looking for it. I can't find it. All right, I had to go get my pro pointer. It's about a hundred yard walk, but I was having trouble pinpointing this with equinox but as you can see there is a a iron pipe right there and I see this one coin that's a weedy that's a weedy let's put that right there let's see what else we got there seemed like there was more it's kind of hard pinpointing with that pipe seems like I still got something in the sidewall Ah, looky there. Did you see what just fell out of there? Hey, two pi- oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a spill. I got a spill here. All right. I got us another, probably an early on weedy. I can't see the date on that. That's two. And then we got us another rosy. I bet those weedies are close by to what this rosy is. 40, 48, 48. All right, check that out. Got a little three coin spill there. All right, let's keep going. Wanted to show y'all. Little robin's egg. I've seen a lot of those out here around the church lately. We've had so much rain and storms and the winds blowing them out of the trees. I don't mind touching this one. This one's probably dead already. He's been let out since last night. But anyway, pretty green, kind of an aqua green. But I'll lay it back down there just in case mama wants to come and try to get it. I doubt it. Let's keep on going. I'm getting a little high chirp here. 
nah, not good, but just a little chirp. There it is, right, right there. It's going to be eight inches deep. I can't pinpoint it, it's too deep. Best I can get is right there. All right, let's go down there and see what it is. I'm right here by this no dumping sign we put out here because right here, I'm right on the edge of where we dug a big pit. And maybe that's why this seems to be so deep is that we've dug this before and reburied it. All right, let's go down and see what it is. saw it right there all right I can't believe this 1961 Washington quarter that is all right isn't it so that is seven seven on the first church house treasures and then seven they've got eight and we got nine ten and this makes eleven is that right that's 11 treasures out here in the back lot of my church. Who would have thought that? You know, any detectors would tell you the first thing you dig is your backyard. And I've done the church. And I've done my backyard. And I've done the front yard and the side lots. I've done the back of the church. I've just never done the prayer garden in this very back lot back here. I just kind of forget about it because it's kind of secluded. But I'm glad I did. I think I'm gonna stop right there. I'm out of breath, I'm hot and my battery's about dead. And it looks like the rain's fixing to try to build up. So I'll take that, five silvers today. All right, let's go shoot a wrap up. Well, as you can look at my face and see how red I am, I just don't do good in this sun. Oh, we've had so much rain and it's so much humidity here, just like sitting in a sauna. I lasted maybe, maybe an hour, hour and a half hunt, but I did good in that little short time that I did it, but I'm just weak right now and uh, just man i couldn't last much longer i'm ready for water season where it cools where i can get in water and cool off a little bit but anyway let me show you what i got enough about me i know that you're not here to look at me but you want to see what i got so let me turn you around and let me show you and before i get started in my wrap up i do want to remind everybody about my friend that's making these uh these diggers this is called a firebird uh, digger and uh, this is a phoenix shovel and uh, i'll be featuring a brand new version of this painted uh, coming up in a 1500 subscriber video. I'm gonna be giving away probably next week We watch it for the video sometime probably come out on a Wednesday uh, Next week or very soon and I'm gonna be giving away a set of these complimentary of uh, resurrection detection he calls himself uh, the Cody Murray and uh, and so Be also giving away some other things a silver dollar and uh, one other thing for uh, an AT series on the Garrett uh, uh, detectors, but anyway I'll do that in the next video. Well, as you can see, we got a lot of trash here. I don't know what that is. Big old piece of uh, aluminum. But lots of can slaw out there. Just tons and tons of stuff. All good tones. Come up about 24 on the uh, the Equinox I was using today. But I uh, didn't find a whole lot. But this is what I got. I got two quarters. I got one dime and 14 pennies. And three Wheaties. And... Uh, Here's the treasures that I got today. That's five today, plus the seven that I got the other day. So that is 11 treasures, 11 silvers, out of the church back lot in the prayer garden. And so that would have been eight out of the back lot, and uh, the rest of them would have been in, in the uh, prayer garden. But anyway, I got my first mercury dime. That's a 1942, and then a 1948 Rosie. And then we'll move on down here to the 50s. I got a 1957 and another 1957 and a 1961 and so there's the trash here's the treasures as I always say the greatest treasure is not what's sitting on top of your tailgate the greatest treasure is what can be found in heaven my friends keep up looking up keep searching until next time happy hunting and God bless